through a great deal of hard work and some research, the MEG has discovered a few ways to escape the back rooms. This is that secret file. This is a special marked file created by the MEG archivist known as Backrooms Database. Here, in this secured file are items, procedures, and known levels used to exit the back rooms. This file has a level red clearance for overseers and authorized personnel. If you are seeing this, it is marked for your eyes only. Method 1. Guess your weight. This is the ultimate arcade attraction that can't be found anywhere else in the back rooms. If the park staff is unable to accurately guess your weight, you win an immediate exit to the front room's location of your choice. One play per visit. Guess your weight is rigged. An individual who weighed about 110 pounds was claimed by the scale guesser that said individual weighed 358 pounds. After getting on the scale, the individual's body weight expanded. She weighed 358 pounds for over two hours. There is a workaround to this effect. The consumption of a great deal of unsettling foods before getting onto the scale is the first part to this workaround. Once the scale guesser states your weight, get on the scale. You will expand or contract according to the guesser's stated weight. Once your weight settles, induce vomiting immediately. This will reduce your weight by several ounces, more than enough to defeat the guesser and giving the individual a free trip to the front rooms. Method 2. The Endless Ending. There are two methods to exit to the front rooms from this level, also known as level 9 quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 372 trillion, 36 billion, 854 million, 775 thousand, 807. The first and most questionable method is by climbing the endless staircase to exactly 5,000 stairs, and then jumping off into the integral void may take one to the front rooms. As this is not confirmed, attempting this is highly discouraged. The second method is by utilizing the elevator of this level. The elevator's availability is purely up to chance, and there is no button to call it. As such, most wanderers who enter this level are not able to take it, leaving them to face the torment of the endlessly climbing staircase. It has been suggested that entering through level 36 into the endless ending guarantees an opening, but this has yet to be confirmed. However, if you are able to find the elevator, simply enter it. Upon entering the elevator, the screen displays a directory of clusters and a search bar, which can be used to search for levels. After selecting one's desired level, a description of the level will appear, presumably to allow wanderers to make an informed decision onto their destination. Below the description is a button labeled Go To Level, which starts the elevator ride. The most popular destination is the Promised Land, as it is an exit to the front rooms. After arriving in the Promised Land, you should start trying to damage random parts of this level. This will get the attention of the Shepherd of the Promised Land. He is the one who is tasked with taking care of the Promised Land. Anyone who has attempted to damage the Promised Land is thrown out of the Promised Land and into the front rooms by him. Method 3 The third known method is by locating level 3999. Level 3999 is a seemingly infinite mall that has the appearance and layout resembling most 80s style malls present in the front rooms, even including food courts and arcades. When you enter this level, you will be given an indestructible sheet of paper with the list of tasks to complete at the front counter. Completing the instructions will allow you to exit the back rooms. These tasks are random and could be many things like finding, eating, or using certain items, entering and exiting a different level, or killing a certain entity among others. 
you will also be given a red button that will instantly take you back to this level other than if you are in the void along with a few certain other levels. Completing your tasks and walking through the glass doors will send you to the front rooms. However, if you exit through the glass doors without completing your tasks, you will be taken to level 952 where you will suffer a fate worse than death. Other Methods In closing, there are two other possible methods being researched at this moment. The first is an exploration team in the hub using the Pathfinders. Their mission in the hub is to explore all remaining unexplored doors, cataloging their exits, and, with any luck, finding the one door in the hub that leads to the front rooms, assuming that one exists in the hub. The second is a technological offshoot of the level keys that are used to exit and enter levels. It has been discovered that keys from the front rooms vibrate at certain frequencies, indicating that they are targeting some sort of exit. Once MEG scientists find this lock frequency, it may be possible to use any keys brought to the back rooms by wanderers to locate an exit to the front rooms by creating an LPS, or level positioning system, much like the current ones that use level key shards to locate entrances and exits between levels and the hub. If you've enjoyed this video from the Back Rooms database, subscribe to this channel and watch one of these playlists for more episodes.